after understanding the process of sugar manufacturing let us try to understand the refining of sugar sugar obtained in the sugar manufacturing industry is generally brown or golden in color which is also known as raw sugar in order to obtain the white colored refined sugar it is necessary to treat it with some additional processes in many sugar manufacturing industry refining is done along with sugar production process but in some industries it is completely done after sugar manufacturing so the steps involved in sugar refining involves collection of raw sugar affination melting defecation or clarification filtration decolorization evaporation and crystallization during refining raw sugar is taken for affination raw sugar contains much impurities which are adhered mostly on the surface in affination raw sugar is mingled with warm saturated syrup to soften the adhering film of molasses after affination next step is melting of sugar the affinated sugar is dissolved with hot condensate to obtain a liquid syrup of 72 degree breaks at 75 degree celsius prior to defecation after melting defecation or clarification is done it is helpful in reducing almost 40% colorants in this process defecation is of two types that is carbonatation and phosphatation carbonatation is also called carbonation melted sugar is treated with lime that is calcium hydroxide into this mixture carbon dioxide gas is pumped reaction between calcium hydroxide and carbon dioxide forms calcium carbonate calcium carbonate removes the impurities and we obtain the purified sugar syrup in phosphatation melted sugar is treated with lime and phosphoric acid reaction between lime and phosphoric acid forms calcium phosphate precipitates which removes the impurities from the sugar syrup and we obtain the purified sugar syrup after clarification sugar syrup is filtered by using various types of filters like pre coat vacuum filters pre coat pressure filters deep bed multimedia filters or combination of any of these to produce a filtered syrup after filtration filtered syrup is treated further for decolorization several techniques can be used for removing color from sugar syrup most common technique is use of activated carbon in the form of powder or granules apart from that polymeric media like synthetic ion exchange resins or adsorbent resins or bone char can also be used 
for decolorization of sugar syrup. After filtration and decolorization, sugar syrup is having concentration of 68 to 72 degree breaks. But for crystallization, supersaturation of syrup is necessary which can be attained at 80 degree breaks. To concentrate sugar syrup, evaporation is done using multiple effect evaporators. After evaporation, crystallization is done under reduced pressure of 75 to 90 kilopascal and 60 to 70 degree Celsius temperature conditions. Many a times crystallization is initiated by adding small quantity of sucrose. The crystals thus formed are grown under automatically controlled conditions until the desired final grain size is achieved. The sugar crystals are separated by the process of centrifugation. Thus, the sugar is recovered, dried, graded and then packed. Thus, by series of various processes, we obtained refined white sugar. Thank you.